So Kraken just made a $30 million mistake. Also, what is the Fed saying about a central bank digital currency and what does that really mean? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. If you guys enjoy these updates, hit the like button, hit subscribe. We put out videos every day. And who want, for those of you who want even more information on what we're doing with our cryptocurrencies, you got to check out the CT Club. A link for it is down below in the video description. Real quick, let's get into it. Kraken paid $30 million to the SEC. That is the settlement that I was referencing in just yesterday's video saying the settlement is soon to come. Hours later, uh, $30 million was paid from Kraken to the SEC. Why and how could they have avoided that really hefty bill? Turns out all they had to do was sign a little form saying that the uh, staking rewards for coming from, were coming from staking and there might be a little bit of risk with that. The fact that they didn't do that cost them $30 million. The fact that they didn't know they had to do that, it's Gary Gensler working his magic, uh, doing what he can to take as much profit as he can from centralized platforms, and also while he's at it, striking a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt for those who are new to cryptocurrencies and don't know any better and might blindly be trusting governmental agencies and regulatory bodies like the SEC. Uh, furthermore, so Jesse Powell, the old CEO of Kraken, was pretty PO'd. Uh, that he, all he had to do was sign that form and, and make that announcement and they wouldn't have had to pay $30 million. The new CEO, he still has some faith in the system and he is requesting Congress to help protect the crypto industry from this new staking uh, crusade that the SEC is on. And probably just, you know, seeing that this is where the things are going, he wants Congress to help protect crypto innovation in the U.S. Coward. What a coward that guy is. Screw that guy. Yeah, I gotta, gotta, gotta side with Toby on this one. Uh, I mean, has he paid off a third of all Congress members? Hmm. That's kind of... That's the bar that's been set by SBF, so that's what they're expecting. Uh, hopefully they didn't spend all their money on that $30 million fee to SEC, and they still have some tucked away to bribe some members of Congress to actually help them, because that would be their best bet of that body actually protecting anything to do with crypto. Uh, in my opinion, that is a steep uphill battle that probably will never happen. Um, so, you know... Why, why ask for permission from the system that what you're, you know, ultimately your business has to do is with disrupting that whole thing? And they have to play this game because Kraken is a centralized platform. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, looking, looking forward, any recommendations I might have had for Kraken are probably even more so uh, becoming a little bit tainted. Uh, anyone who's trying so hard to get the approval of the U.S. government is like, you know, eh. it's lacking of, of inspiration on my side. Also, it's happening due to all of these probes into Paxos and also Circle lately from the SEC. PayPal has decided to go ahead and stop their development of their stablecoin that apparently they were working on. Uh, everyone's trying to get a stable coin, but you know what? You know who's not working on a stable coin? Apparently, the Fed, Federal Reserve. They said, you know what? The CBDC, I don't see the U.S. needing that anytime soon. Nah, we're not like the U.K. openly saying we need a CBDC. The U.S. Federal Reserve is like, nah, that's years and years down the line. We're going to let the SEC... Uh, dis dismantle what they can within the stablecoin arena and crypto, but uh, when they least expect it, we're going to roll in with our government-issued and approved and fully regulated uh, central bank digital currency. Don't you forget it. Whatever they're calling it, whatever is coming from the Federal Reserve or central bank, whatever stablecoin is coming from a government, it's a CBDC, but they might not always be calling it that. Don't forget it. So, you have to read between the lines. Anyway, just your little quick uh, daily update here from Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi. Again, hit like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.